no one here gets out alive. Many people die, at 25, and aren't buried, until they are 75. Remembering that, you are going to die, is the best way I know, to avoid the trap of thinking, you have something to lose. Let life be beautiful, like summer flowers, and death, like autumn leaves. Live how we can, yet die we must. No one can confidently say that, he will still be living tomorrow. They say you die twice. One time, when you stop breathing, and the second time, a bit later on, when somebody says your name, for the last time. Death may be the greatest of all human blessings. Our dead are never dead to us, until we have forgotten them. It is natural to die, as to be born. After all, what's a life, anyway? We're born, we live a little while, we die. Death is the wish of some, the relief of many, and the end of all. The goal of all life is death. How people die, remains in the memory, of those who live on. Nothing in life is promised except death. After your death, you will be what you were before your birth. There is love, in holding and there is love in letting go. I want to be all used up when I die. We will all, someday, experience death, and become obsolete as a dead leaf, falling from a tree, crushed by passers, by to ashes underlying the earth. I would rather die a meaningful death, than to live a meaningless life. How can the dead be truly dead, when they still live in the souls, of those who are left behind? Death, they say, acquits us of all obligations. Grief is the price we pay for love. We all die. The goal isn't to live forever, the goal is to create something that will. A friend who dies, it's something of you who dies. To die, will be an awfully big adventure. There are far, far better things ahead, than any we leave behind. Death must be so beautiful. To lie in the soft brown earth, with the grasses waving above one's head, and listen to silence. To have no yesterday, and no tomorrow. To forget time, to forget life, to be at peace. Because life is fragile, and death inevitable, we must make the most of each day. If being a kid, is about learning, how to live, then being a grown-up, is about learning, how to die. The connections, we make in the course of a life, maybe that's what heaven is. At my age, I do what Mark Twain did. I get my daily paper, look at the obituaries page, and if I'm not there, I carry on as usual. I am ready to meet my maker, but whether my maker is prepared for the great ordeal of meeting me is another matter. It's not that I'm afraid to die, I just don't want to be there, when it happens. When I die, I want to go peacefully, like my grandfather did, in his sleep. Not yelling and screaming, like the passengers in his car. Death is nature's way of saying, your table is ready. Every parting is a form of death, as every reunion is a type of heaven. It's only, when we truly know and understand, that we have a limited time on earth, and that we have no way of knowing, when our time is up, that we will begin to live each day to the fullest, as if it was the only one we had. Death aims only once, but never misses. Every man dies, not every man really lives. Death is not extinguishing the light, it is only putting out the lamp, because the dawn has come. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. The life of the dead, is placed in the memory of the living.
Death is a great revealer, of what is in a man, and in its solemn shadow, appear the naked lineaments of the soul. Death, in itself, is nothing, but we fear, to be we know not what, we know not where. Loss and possession, death and life are one. There falls no shadow, where there shines no sun. The day, which we fear as our last is, but the birthday of eternity. Death does not concern us, because as long as we exist, death is not here. And when it does come, we no longer exist. By becoming deeply aware of our mortality, we intensify our experience of every aspect of life. Death is just nature's way, of telling you to slow down. They say such nice things, about people, at their funerals, that it makes me sad, that I'm going to miss mine, by just a few days. Death is no more than, passing from one room into another. But there's a difference for me, you know. Because in that other room, I shall be able to see. The truth I have been seeking, this truth is death. Yet death is also a seeker. Forever seeking me. So, we have met at last. And I am prepared. I am at peace. I discovered to my joy, that it is life, not death, that has no limits. Only a moment you stayed, but what an imprint, your footprints have left in our hearts. Those we love don't go away, they walk beside us every day. Unseen, unheard, but always near, still loved, still missed and very dear. Death leaves a heartache no one can heal, love leaves a memory no one can steal. Man alone chimes the hour. And, because of this, man alone suffers a paralyzing fear, that no other creature endures. A fear of time running out. And we wept that one so lovely, should have a life, so brief. The loss of a friend, is like that of a limb. Time may heal the anguish of the wound, but the loss cannot be repaired. It matters not how a man dies, but how he lives. The act of dying is not of importance, it lasts so short a time. Death is something inevitable. When a man has done, what he considers to be his duty, to his people and his country, he can rest in peace. The bitterest tears, shed over graves, are for words left unsaid, and deeds left undone. Our death is not an end, if we can live on in our children and the younger generation. For they are us, our bodies are only wilted leaves, on the tree of life. Death never takes a wise man by surprise, he is always ready to go. Dying is a troublesome business. There is pain to be suffered, and it wrings one's heart, but death is a splendid thing, a warfare accomplished, a beginning all over again, a triumph. You can always see that in their faces. Life is for the living. Death is for the dead. Let life be like music. And death a note unsaid. There is no cure for birth, and death save to enjoy the interval. The dark background, which death supplies, brings out the tender colors of life, in all their purity. Death is more universal than life, everyone dies, but not everyone lives. When someone we love dies, we get so busy mourning what died, that we ignore what didn't. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. The harder the pain, the longer the path to recovery, the better the opportunity to learn. All that live must die, passing through nature to eternity. Unable are the love to die, for love is immortality. The boundaries which divide life from death, are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where the one ends, and where the other begins?
A dying man needs to die, as a sleepy man needs to sleep, and there comes a time, when it is wrong, as well as useless, to resist. Good men must die, but death cannot kill their names. Birth and death, are the most singular events, we experience, and the contemplation of death, as of birth, should be a thing of beauty, not ignobility. Every man's life ends the same way. It is only the details, of how he lived, and how he died, that distinguish one man from another. When you've told someone, that you've left them a legacy, the only decent thing to do, is to die, at once. Life is hard. Then you die. Then, they throw dirt in your face. Then the worms eat you. Be grateful it happens in that order. You will lose someone you can't live without, and your heart will be badly broken, and the bad news, is that you never completely get over the loss, of your beloved. But this is also the good news. They live forever in your broken heart, that doesn't seal back up. And you come through. It's like having a broken leg, that never heals perfectly, that still hurts, when the weather gets cold, but you learn to dance with the limp.